Hey guys, what's up? This is Shuvarip from eGadgets for you and in this video I'll be going to show you a very very helpful tips. Suppose you have just made your dream PC or your dream gaming PC and you have spent a lot of money or else you are using an old laptop running on Windows 7 or Windows 8 and you don't have the money or you don't want to spend on a Windows 10 license. So here is the tricks or the tips and a helpful video for you that will show you to actually install Windows 10 Pro absolutely free and it will be a legal valid viable windows 10 from microsoft that will actually get you windows 10 updates in the futures as well and there will be no illegal way to do it so without further ado let's get started so guys i'm in the working mode here so i've just uh, tilted the camera over here and to do this particular step you need a pen drive that to a 8 gb pen drive the minimum space requirement is of 8 gb you can have a pen drive much bigger space than 8 gb as well what i'll do is that i'll put a link in the description as well uh, to buy a pen drive so you are well equipped with it and apart from that you need a working laptop or a working desktop with an active internet connection i have my laptop over here so i'll be working and i'll be sharing the thing uh, with you so now what i will do is that i'll just go ahead and plug in this particular pen drive in my laptop and from the next view onwards, I will just screen record my laptop screen so it is easier for you to understand what are the steps to do. So let's get to it. So now what I'm doing is that I'm going ahead and plug in my pen drive over here and it will auto detect of course the particular pen drive that I've inserted over here. Yes, you can see that this particular pen drive is uh, full of things. So what I'll do, I'll just go to my PC uh, and I will just format the pen drive at first. Here you see format, it will be a quick format, start and yeah of course uh, everything will be raised. Wait for it. Okay, the format is complete. So now I'll just close everything else. What I'll do is that I'll go to Google Chrome over here and over here I'll just write download media creation tool. I will put this particular link in the description as well so it's much more easier for you to go through the entire process now uh, the first thing of the Microsoft website that it appears over here I will just click on that and voila it's here so now you just go to download tool now this is very important just click on download tool now and it will just go ahead and download the uh, actually media creation tool now very importantly remember do not put this particular .exe file in your pen drive just as yet you just put it anywhere in your uh, PC wherever you find it suiting I just uh, I'm just putting it on the desktop over here I'm just saving it over here so let it save yes it has downloaded and you can see that it's over here so I'll just go ahead and double click on that and start now uh, let me explain you what this particular thing is that this media creation tool is not the downloaded windows 10 version for you it is just actually the software the .exe file that will execute itself download the windows 10 installation software and make a bootable hard drive out of your pen drive so this is the entire thing that you need to do okay it says getting a few things ready now remember you need an active internet connection for this this is very much important because this particular tool will uh, download uh, all the stuffs from the internet and get your pen drive ready okay now you get a long list of uh, license agreement and stuff like that if you have the time go through it but enter you have to accept it or else it won't uh, pro proceed okay now once you uh, come to this particular screen this is very very important try to understand that you don't need to upgrade this pc now you are going to create a installation media in your usb flash drive so you have to select this particular option and then click on next and once you are over here i actually recommend you at first importantly put this tick off because i don't want to create an installation disk that is recommended as per this particular pc from where i am making this particular disk so yeah, go ahead, uh, you don't need to change anything over here, just in this architecture bit, what I want to make sure is that the laptop or the PC that you want to install the Windows 10, make sure that it's a 32-bit or 64-bit, although realistically speaking, in 2020, it's pretty hard to find a machine that is 32-bit, so more or less it will be a 64-bit machine only, so just select that and click next. Now you don't need an ISO file, you need a USB flash drive you see it says it needs to be at least 8 gb so that's what i've told you at first also so it's selected and i'll just go ahead and click next and it has directed my uh, removable drive i mean my pen drive it has directed so i'll just select that and click next 
so now it says progress and mind you it will take at least 25 to 30 minutes that too depending upon the speed of your internet and the pc that you are actually doing it so if you have the time just go ahead grab a popcorn seat and enjoy relax i'll just cut the bit and i'll again come back when this particular process completes so now as you can see that the download has actually completed and it's now verifying your download so yeah this is uh, actually again a long time process and if your popcorn has finished by now go grab another one because this will also take some time and i'll be back soon so guys as you can see that the progress is at 98 percent so i just want to like mention you something <laughs> like i've told you that you need an active internet connection for this particular setup and of course in between for some any reasons your internet connection is down or it goes off nothing to worry just keep it like that intact do not uh, plug off that particular usb or do not turn off your particular laptop so the next time you get the active internet connections back then it will start from the spot where it has left so that is a good thing actually uh, so now yeah it's 98 percent two more percent to go so let's wait for it okay 99 okay guys the usb flash drive is ready now so it's done so now what i'll do is i'll, ju I'll just go ahead and click finish over here so uh once it's done that particular screen will go off and you have nothing more to do you just need to go to my pc over here and i'll just check the pen drive and yes you see that the setup files and everything has been set up over here perfectly so now is a moment of truth i'll just change my camera angle and i'll put it over here so and i'll test that whether the work that we have done uh till now is correct or not so I'll just eject device at first uh okay it's not yet ready i'll just refresh uh, the computer once more and then again try for the eject device and yeah it's done so i have ejected the device for now let me change the angle and i'll be back in a bit okay guys now that we're in this particular screen what i'll do is that i'll just go ahead and uh, let me just focus over here for one bit i'll just go ahead and i'll plug in this particular pen drive and let's see what happens after that uh, okay i have done that now uh, okay i'll just close it now you must understand that this particular laptop has an active uh, windows 10 installation done already in this particular setup now for the sake of the video what i'll do is that i'll just go ahead and restart at first so i'm hitting restart over here and i'll just restart the computer so uh, as to let you show that this particular flash drive is working or not and whether we have done it correctly or not now since this particular machine has already pre-installed os over here uh, although it's windows 10 if your existing pc or laptop has windows 7 windows 8 it has existing os so uh, to actually flash this drive you have to go to bias because uh, as this particular machine already has OS it will detect it from the hard drive so to uh, again boot it from this particular pen drive you have to have to have to go to BIOS uh, to do that you either need to press a delete key or the F2 button key over here and then this laptop the F2 button is on the top so I have to hit the function and the F2 button now if you have done a clean installation and you have just built you, uh, yourself a new PC and a new uh, hard disk drive over there where uh, this that particular hard disk has nothing in it so then you just need to plug in this particular uh, pen drive start your pc or start your laptop and it will automatically boot from this particular pen drive only uh, but since as i have told that this particular hard drive already has a pre-existing os so i have to go to the bias okay so now the screen goes black and i am hitting the f2 button uh, see it has entered the bias so over here i need to go to boot uh, let me just zoom in more so you can see, uh, see properly uh, you can see the screen perfectly over here so i just go to boot and you see it has detected my usb hard drive as well as the particular hdd that is running over here so i just need to change the boot priority i uh, have to select this particular usb and you can see it reads written over here that uh, i have to press the f6 key to prioritize a boot order and it uh, let the usb drive to go up so now it's done i'll just go ahead and click f 10 uh, safe configuration changes and exit now and now is the moment of truth we have to see that whether this particular pen drive works or not also i want to make sure uh, in this particular point that i won't be doing a full installation video just as yet that particular video is so uh, will be coming soon uh, stay subscribed for that of course because i'll let you show how to do a clean installation of windows 10 once you've built up your pc so just for the sake of this video i'm like uh, showing you that whether it works or not the sl logo has appeared over here because i'm using an sl laptop 
and yes that's it guys that's it guys see this is the windows 10 installation screen so you just need to go ahead and click next 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 and do the stops uh the video will be out soon stay subscribed for that just repeating myself anyways uh, so this actually proves that the work that we have done till now it's actually fruitful and it's perfect so now uh, before ending the video i need to tell you certain things about it so let me just change the camera angle and talk to you again so yes guys now that you're uh, in the windows 10 setup screen you just go ahead and uh, uh, install the windows 10 over here now before you do that once you come to that particular screen where it asks for a serial key you see at the bottom uh, right hand corner it says i don't have a serial key that was the whole point of this particular video so you have to select that and go ahead and just in the very next screen you will find out that uh, uh, it asks for which version of windows 10 you want to install i will always advise you to go for windows 10 pro that way it's easier you get the maximum features and maximum uh, things out of uh, microsoft windows 10 now once it's done your the installation is complete and everything is done and of course uh, uh, you're using it there are a couple of things that you may need to make sure and you need to live with it like for example the first thing is that in the bottom right uh, uh, end of your screen sometimes the activate windows particular logo will appear if you can live with it well and good nothing is going to happen no legal action will be taken against you by microsoft it's a genuine valid copy of microsoft windows 10 that you have downloaded from the microsoft website only you just uh, need to avoid that particular watermark that says activate and also or uh, not all the time it will appear sometimes it may appear again the second thing that you need to make sure is that when you go to the settings in windows 10 over there also it will like uh, uh, actually prompt you that you need to activate your windows live with that or else if you can't live with that go ahead and buy yourself a windows 10 pro whatever or whatever version of windows 10 you have installed in your pc or laptop and just activate with the serial key now apart from that um, as far as my knowledge goes uh, there is only one more thing that you cannot do is that that changing the wallpapers via going to right click uh, and going to personalization because that particular feature will be turned off it will ask you to activate windows so to change the wallpaper of windows 10 you just need to go to that particular picture that you want to put the wallpaper for right click on that and set as desktop background and it will do the job for you so that's it guys you have actually yourself a valid uh, windows 10 pro setup with you that will give you regular windows 10 updates from microsoft it's a hundred percent legal thing no legal uh, actions will be taken against you there is no dire consequences for that so now you have done it you have got windows 10 for free go ahead use it enjoy it hope so this video was helpful for you if you have liked this video consider liking and sharing with your friends and families stay subscribed to my channel and turn on the notifications bell because very soon i'm going to make a video on how to build your pc step by step instruction guide and also how to do a clean installation of windows 10 as well so that will be it guys for this video bye for now